present, and future. Sins were automatically forgiven when we accepted Jesus. So why would all these verses be put in the book instructing us, warning us of what, to need, what we need to watch out for if it wasn't a present reality? You just can't ignore it. See, our problem is, since we ignore these things, we've never even given any conscious attention to it. The only conscious attention we gave to it is when we're walking in it. Come on. Amen. And even then, we ain't paying attention because we're too busy being like puppets subject. Amen. To every little emotion, every little whim, every little... Yeah, we are. But God wrote all these things. In, you know, I, I write all these things unto you, brethren, that you sin not. That's the reason why I'm informing you of it. The scriptures have never once alleviated us. It never once has deceived us. Never once has told us that we didn't have a war sitting in front of us. Amen. But because you ignore the war, the war, hey, don't worry about it. The battle going to come to you. Amen. You ain't even got to worry. You ain't even got to fight in battle. But I'll tell you what, it's on you, though. Yeah. How you know it's on you? Look at them long faces. <laughs> Look at them stone, angry, looking, long, concerned, discerned, depressed faces. Look at all that worry you got. You ain't got to worry about forget it. You can use all the shea butter you want. They ain't going to keep a wrinkle out of your face. You keep on all that mess and worry and stuff. You can, you can use all the lotions, potions, tip, nut, tuck. Do everything you want. It ain't going to do you a bit of good. As a man thinketh, so is he. Amen. So you look like worry because that's what you becoming. Praise God. <laughs> Bro, say my God. Amen. Amen. It's just the truth. Amen. So don't think that I'm tell I'm sorry, folks. All of old lay. <coughs> Secrets of garden eating. <laughs> Shea butter coming from Africa and all this other stuff. Yeah, you, all you doing is just making your face greasy. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory to the king. <laughs> they even tell you it takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile. Amen. Ain't everybody happy? Amen. Well, I don't feel. Well, put on Christ then. Amen. You put on all that other mess and all that drag down, drag net faces, though, then put on Christ. Think yourself happy. Amen. I mean, you just got finished working yourself up into an emotional state of depression, so why not just think yourself happy? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Well, I'm concerned. I'm concerned, too. Amen. Anyway, praise the Lord. The shed blood of Jesus cleanses us from sin. If, if we forgive, and confess our sins. But it does not remove the power of sin and death working in our lives. No, it don't. Because if it did, you wouldn't be feeling all this hell. Amen. I'm looking at a bunch of people who've been forgiven. That's right. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. But I'm also looking at a bunch of people who feel the weight of death working. Excuse me for a second. Yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Man. <laughs> hey! He said, like, fire, shut up in my bonds. Anyway, praise God. Glory to the king. You all right, brother? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You know that anointing transfer, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me, let me know anytime you feel like you. you uh, I feel some heat. You get, whoo. <laughs> <laughs> This is where the war comes. 
We are in this to fight against sorrow. We are in this to fight against guilt. We are in this to fight against shame. I mean, you've done something wrong, just confess it up to God and then put that mess behind you and let's get on. We got enough wounded soldiers. Get some field dressing on you and let's get right back on in it now. The LZ's hot. Praise God. We're in this to fight against condemnation. We're in this to fight against anger, regret, sadness, and bitterness. We're in this to fight the good fight of faith and to lay a hold on eternal life. That's what we're in it for. Now, these are real feelings. I'm not going to tell you. They, they are real feelings. That's why we wear them. As a man thinking, I know what you're thinking. Praise God. What you thinking, brother? Oh, nothing. I'm in deep thought. And now I don't want no parts of that thought, bro. Yeah, I heard that. If it looks like you, it makes you look like that, I don't want no parts of that thought, man. Amen. Amen. We feel them because they're evil spirits. Yeah. Let me ask you, can you feel the Holy Spirit? Yes, sir. How's he make you feel? Good. You know how the Holy Spirit makes you feel, right? Uh -huh. So then don't tell me that we're not warned against the, the, the evil wickedness of this world and the spiritual weakness in high places, because we are. So when they are pressing on you, you feel them, and you react after them. Amen. Yeah, you do. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Christians can't have no devils. I know. I know. I know. And you're wearing all that hell on you. And you're producing all that hell. And you're doing all that hell. And you're causing all that hell. Praise God. Amen. When you've really done everything right, the right way, coming from the heart, yes, you would not have to deal with these bad, sad feelings. 2 oh. Corinthians 5, verse 16 to 17, what does the Bible say? Wherefore, henceforth, know we know man after the flesh. We don't know you after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ. I'm sorry, flesh. brother, but believe it or not, years ago I determined not to know any of you by your flesh. Because if I knew you by your flesh, I'd be offended. Right. And I know there's a woe to them that are offended. Right. Sure. And by whom the offense come. Amen. So I'm sorry, but I, I, I choose to not be offended. Amen. Again, that, that's my own personal decision. Hallelujah. You can do it what you want to do. But I've learned mm -hmm. also Amen. after Christ. Read on. Yeah, though we have known Christ after the flesh, mm -hmm. yet now henceforth know we him no more. That's right. Come on with it, brother. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. Therefore, if any man be in Satan. No, Christ. All right. Christ. Therefore, if any man be in who? Christ. In Jesus. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Therefore, any man be in Christ. Mm -hmm. If any man be a fool. No. Any man be in the world. No. But any man be in Christ. Christ. Mm -hmm. What is he? He is a new creature. See, we should be seeing this new creation working in you every single day. Every single day. Amen. Ain't everybody happy? Yes, sir. Ain't everybody happy? Yes, sir. If you ain't happy, think yourself happy. Amen. You ain't got no excuse for not being happy. That's true. Well, I don't feel like it. I keep telling you, man, hey, heartburn, when it comes to, you feel it 